Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to, to thank all of you um, who are involved with and have been involved with uh, raising funds for this, this new Shannon lifeboat uh, for Wells lifeboat station. And I can assure you that it's much appreciated by everybody on station. I've been with the station now nearly 40 years. Within the town, the history of the station, I mean, you're looking back to at least 1832, the first lifeboat station was stationed here at Wells. It wasn't until 1869 that the RNLO took over the running of what we thought was a private lifeboat. I'm Martin Flickcroft. I've been on the Wells crew about five years. Um, when we first moved to Wells about six and a half years ago, I thought it'd be a good thing to actually join the actual boat crew itself. My daytime job is I'm a serving army officer, um, so yes I am part of the MOD and, and I would thoroughly encourage you to dig deep and help us to support this worthwhile cause that you're doing to help us get our new boat here at Wells. The simple answer is with the boat of a speed of 25 knots we've got to be able to get there in probably less than half an hour where currently that would take us three quarters an hour, something like that. So again, speed, uh, arriving at the casualty that much quicker to offer assistance. And um, and obviously, once we've got the casualty on board, if that's a medivac, for instance, we can get them back to shore quicker. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of all the crew that we have here. You know, they give up their time, they put the effort in. Um, and of course they got pride in their station. We appreciate the support that you're going to give us and um, anything you can give to help this fund come along and help us get our new boat um, will be a, a major step in the right direction.